need to make our citrinitas. So you go in there. We need triple light, triple explosion. Is that sitting out? No, we need a fresh triple explosion. Triple explosion, triple growth. Is that sitting out? No, that's wheat growth. Oh, we, we have it in our inventory. I see it now. You go there. Uh, triple fire. And then triple frost protection. Takes thorn stick. We can make a triple frost protection for this. We're already pot committed to doing this with or without saved recipes, so... We use two thorn stick to get to that? I guess I can see why. So we probably went like through here. So what can we make that motion with now? We can do it with dragon pepper. If we get to like here, I think we're in good shape. Yeah. We're gonna use, it's a rare opportunity so to, to put a hairy banana in. Are you ever gonna use these ones over here? No, no, no. Those are E-Strong special hairy bananas. He, he subbed simply because he liked the way that hairy bananas sounded, so now I leave them out in tribute to him. I, I am nothing if not thoughtful. In other words, I am nothing. Uh, so we're going to go here. We're going to use a second hairy banana. Who knew that a, a hairy banana would be so effective at preventing frost? No, because we, well... Mm. Just leave it like this. Because that's too low. Let's break out our Void Salt. We hardly ever use it. So what if we go back to like there? It's improving. What do we go back to like there? It's almost there. Just a little more. Makes me think we might not have needed Harry Banana for this. We could have used something better. That's... You've kind of overcooked it. I want to go to like there. But I'm pretty sure that's going to be too close to the bone wall. Oh yeah, like way too close. Alright, I want to try that again. I think there's something in there. Hang on, he's already screwed it up. Regrind it. I don't know how you regrind an herb, but... Okay, so it's like here. And then what did we use? We used a sulfur shelf, like most of a sulfur shelf. If we stop here, then maybe we can just put a whole hairy banana in. Right? Because I think that's around where we wanted to wind up. Yeah, this actually looks very promising. We are going to hit the oil ever so slightly, but I think that's okay. Scary, and then fine. And then just a brief dip through the oil, it's pretty bad. Okay, we need to get out of the bones immediately. But we also kind of want to try and line up this shot. <laughs> Do I have anything that does both? Uh, actually, it kind of does. Holy cow. He's actually doing it. This is going to be a really good potion of frost protection. Take me to like here. Give me the line. Yeah. 
That's a good potion. Is it better than this one? No, I think it's about the same, honestly. It's two Lava Root, two Bloodthorn, two Thornstick. Versus two Hairy Banana, a Sulfur Shelf, a Dragon Pepper, and a Lava Root. But I'm still going to save it. I'm very pleased with how that came out. It's a good alternative. Yeah, finish it. Oh, right, that wasn't for a customer. That was for a potion machine. You go in here. And then what do we got? Double fire protection, double frost protection. So it's these four? No, it's these four. Can't make you, we need two flame weed and a thorn stick. Can't make you, we need a thorn stick. Can't make you, we need thorn stick. Can't make you, we need fire citrine, a spell bloom. Awkward. Well, let's hope that a merchant shows up tomorrow then. We need thorn stick, we need fire bloom. Again, I regret not buying Firebloom that one time we saw it. And we've also somehow run out of uh, Fire Citrine, which is unlucky. You haven't made any progress on your work in the last three days. You've been feeling out of it. How do you go on? I don't know, man. If you were me, I'd just quit. But I guess like a Potion of Inspiration will probably help you or whatever. So I, I would like to go to Invis and then Arcane Crystal across. Is how I'd like to get to Inspiration. Also, that's a big rotation that we need to make on that. I, this might be a one star. Just because I don't want to do that rotation. Also, would it kill them to have like a single portal that moves you up this way, instead of everything pushing you back down towards the center? So let's see, what are our options? Well, option one, which is probably going to be the easiest for us, is not to try to go to the right at all. Or not to try to go up and to the right, it's to go up and to the left, and then only go to the right. Because we've got a lot of things that move very efficiently to the right. Like our friend Watercap. But I want to get just a little bit of elevation first. So what does that? Kraken Mushroom kind of does that. It does kind of does that. So take me to like here. Dude, who knew that Kraken Mushroom would be so incredibly good? And then take me here, because I can Wind Bloom from there. Yeah. And we can use a lot of this Whirlpool here to cheat our way up. And we actually just want to go, like, straight up. We even need to go a little bit to the left, so we want to be careful not to move further to the right than we actually need to. But let's get maximum elevation off of this, basically. Like that. And then a cloud crystal will kind of do it for us. If we just go to, like, here, and then we cloud crystal. Now we need to go up into the right, or up into the left, one of my favorite motions to make of all time. I don't quite want to go that far is the problem. Because what I'd like to do is like blood through blood thorn into double wind bloom. Or possibly if I get high enough, we might be able to do it in one of like the the big airy herbs. Like the Puff Cotton or the other one, whatever they're called. So maybe we just ride this around. And 
no. Yeah. Like, there it is. And you don't go far enough. So yeah, it's going to be Whirlweed. And if we had Sun Salt, that would probably be a three-star recipe. really close. It would not quite be, though. We need to move just a sliver further on that world wall. That's really interesting, though. That's very, very interesting. We'll come back to that. We made no money on that, basically. Can't light your oven because you lost your flint. Do I have something I could use to start the fire instead? You'll pay more for a potion made from exactly two types of ingredients. That fits the bill. Enchantments on your staff have almost run out. You need a potion of mana. Let's use the one that just uses like base ingredients. Please, for the love of God, I need Thornstick. You feel like your luck has turned against you. Uh, we know where a potion of luck lives. It lives over here? Yeah, it's way over here. I also, while I was up here, I probably should have figured out where that whirlpool goes. Although I can almost guarantee you it just goes to there. And this one just goes to there. Yeah, I should have done some of those while I was up there. So let's see. We know that we can get across this bone wall with a life crystal. But it's a it's a long walk to that horseshoe. But she will bring more herbs if we do it. So I think we kind of got to do it. Let's head over there. And we can use this as an opportunity to research stuff while we're out there, too. I know that we were up in that corner of the map recently already, but there's that other mystery potion that's just completely surrounded by whirlpools, and maybe we could make some headway into understanding what's going on over there. This, I'd like to be a uh, water cap, but it's not quite good enough. So instead, give me like a... Uh, give me a witch mushroom. little bit of something like that and then we'll just keep tangle weeding over there and then this should be enough for a heart crystal god it puts us deep in the bone wall there maybe it's not but then like what other options do we have really Oh, like an ice fruit. That's an option we have. Okay, that's much better. Yeah, this'll this'll do fine. Okay. And now we just need to move very quickly to the right again. That whirlpool we know is, well, it's not that bad of a trap, now that I look at it. Basically saves us an herb if we go into it. And I think we could go into it with a mana berry? Mage berry? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, this will do. It, get, it basically saves us a tangleweed going to there, so I'll take it. And then we just go straight up with some of our world lead. So take me to like here. And then possibly even a second world lead. Yeah. And then probably a, uh, a wind bloom. Sorry, a feather bloom. No point in doing a three-star here. 
because it would be a lot of uh, flask rotation. So we'll just give you the one star. And then also, as long as I've got your ingredients, I'm gonna do some research. I'd prefer not to. Maybe like this. And then I should be able to get a good run out of like some Lustrum. Yeah. We should have gone a little farther over. Because that's kind of spooky, but we made it. And then we Bloodthorn. And then this is going to be like a lava... Well, now we know about that one already. And we know about that one already. So it is just like these four that we don't know about. Those are the ones that we want to discover. You'll do a pretty good job of it. Yeah, we could just dilute into one from here. Show me where you go. What secrets do you hold? Okay, it's not horrible. We can keep going. If we go here, we should just be able to get a second one for free. Just watch that bone wall. Okay, we're fine. Second one. I'd love to know what that potion is, but I'm pretty sure that... Well, not pretty sure. It might be something incompatible. Okay, that one is a troll. But we can dilute into some free books before we're done with the potion. Do we know about all of these? We know you, we know you, we know you, you, we know you, and we know you. Okay, we do know all those, so finish potion. Here you go. See if that helps. Now show me Thornstick. You son of a... Show me Mage Bloom? Show me Flameweed. Flameweed's fine. We do need some. I'll take all of that. Uh, we're running low on Mage Bear, and we've been using a lot, so give me like 20. And then give me some of that. And then give me some of that. How are we on Boom Bloom? I know we're almost running out of money, but how are we on Boom Bloom? Give me one. How are we on Fire Belt? We're fine. How are we on Thunder Thistle? We're fine. I don't love it, but we're fine. We should be fine on Terraria. Yeah, we have 130. Okay. We're going to have to haggle this one successfully to get our plants, but it shouldn't be that bad. There we go. Still really needed Thornstick out of that, but life goes on, I guess. Your head is too big. You would like a smaller head. Shrinkage. Here you go. What's this? Shrinking luck and anti-magic. Eh, maybe she would have taken it. You're so unlucky. Is there a potion that can fix that? Son of a... Is that the best way to get out to that luck potion and we just didn't bother to save it? No, the best way to get across would be jumping that bone wall. I guess we can do it again. So cold leaf and tangleweed move us that same distance. This is what I was looking at. Water cat moves us a good deal further, but takes us through the bone zone. We could also just throw water bloom at the problem. We have 58. Maybe we should do that. Like we're actually starting to run out of tangleweed somehow. this, a little bit of this, and then it's one of these. And then does that let us jump it? It does let us jump it. So that's good enough. So take me out to there and then show me what I'm working with. Now 
now we do a little bit of this movement. No. No. Good enough. We want to get to that. And honestly, I'm so short. I, I want to save these mushrooms so badly that I'm going to go like this. And I actually think this is going to work out pretty well. Because it's going to get us some extra elevation. No, that's not going to work. Hang on. That's really not going to work. That's also not really going to work. Give me one more water weed. And then that should be fine. We're going to use all of it. Teleport it and then use that extra elevation that you've got. This luck potion better be expensive. Because it's expensive to make it. This will be okay. We can we can use this. Let's get a little closer so I know what I'm doing. Probably gonna put the entire thing in. And then ride it all the way to the top. Wow, this might actually get us the one star by itself. In fact, it will get us the one star by itself. Unless you screw this up. Nope. You're good. So for now, save this, because other people might want luck potions, but that's going to be something we look to upgrade in the future. Once we have sun salt, we can rotate the other direction. It's only 366. We're hemorrhaging money on these potions because we can't make them 3 star. Potion that helps in the bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try this one again, though. Because I think I've still got something in the tank. And I don't want to use flame weed on it. So it was magma moral. Into. Lust shroom. Is that what carries us the furthest? Definitely yes. No. Boom Bloom was even better. Use boom boom then. Okay. Now, we want something that gives us a little bit of verticality at the end. So, like a lava root. And we want to aim for the right side because we're probably going to use a Feather Bloom to get in there. The one that goes up but hooks left. And we want to make sure we give ourselves enough space to overshoot it so that we can dilute back into it. So I want you to put me as far up as you can, but also as far to the left as you can. Like right there. And then... Oh, we don't even need to. We can just use a wind bloom for that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There's the lust potion that I knew was in there. There we go. Alright, save that recipe. Because that's, that's the new hotness. It's right here. Get this hideous flask off my screen. 
So it's the Voluptuous Flask at the top. It is the Four Hearts. Here they are. Although I do kind of like that one too. No, it's, it's too red. I like this one. And sure, we'll just leave them the same color. So get rid of you. Pull you back over here. Yeah, that's a dang good potion. Oh, let me finish brewing it. Sorry, you probably, like, wanted it or whatever. There you go. Potion that can protect your skin from the cold. Cold resistance potion. We still don't have thorn stick, so let's use the one that doesn't have thorn stick in it. Okay, all things considered, good day. We still don't have thorn stick, so it's going to be hard to make some of these. Possibly all of these. And we also need that spell bloom. But if we don't have the spell bloom, I think we can work. Well, no, we also need fire citrine for that. Okay, we, we still need a couple things. Yeah. If we don't get what we need at the end of the day tomorrow, then I might look into some alternative recipes for that. But I don't think we have anything that teleports us any direction. Oh, wait, yeah, we do. We have blood ruby. Okay, so we could use blood ruby to work around that. Potion that helps you keep meat and vegetables preserved and you need it to be weak. I got you. Anything that can do it in one? Yeah, water cap could, but it's a little too far. So instead it's probably just going to be like too cold. Two uh, water bloom. One. Two. Is that close enough? Yes. Here you go. One weak frost potion. You need a restorative potion to use after a fight. Those are called mana potions. We can make 16 of those. You need a potion that can dispel magic. That is a potion of anti-magic. Yeah, they're kind of the same, but I like that one. There you go. Mushroom Man, what you got? We finally have an opportunity to buy Grave Truffle. Because we don't have any, I'll just get 15. Mudshroom we have to be doing so well on. Yeah, we have 95. I know I said I was going to buy like every herb that we ever saw, but it's, come on, have some reason. I'll take all of those, though. And then, let's see, Weird Shroom we have been using a couple times. I'll, I'll respect Weird Shroom. I will not respect Poop Shroom. I will not respect Rainbow Cap. We have a ton of stink mushrooms still. Okay, well, not like that much, but still. That's that's good enough for me. Oh my god, he's winning! He's winning the haggle. Jesus, <laughs> that was close. All right, get out. Potion that helps plants grow faster. No more than three types. Truly strong potion. I'm pretty sure our growth potion only has two types of ingredients in it. So you're going to do just fine with that. But unfortunately, that is a custom request, and I'm going to have to haggle you for it. Help you fly over a blocked mountain passage. Levitate. We can make 17. Beautiful. You want the potion's main ingredient to be cold leaf, and you want a healing potion. It's it's doable. Wait, what's cold? Oh, this is cold leaf. Okay. Um. Yeah. Sure. And then down. Is that going to be three star? That might be three star. It's overshooted a bit. Be safe. Be safe. Be smart. Mm, yeah. And then just like the tiniest deletion you've ever seen. There we go. Here you go. Here's your cold leaf potion of healing. Yeah, we did that. There you go. You need a mana potion. Straight, direct, to the point. I respect it. There you go. Get out. We did not get the crystal that we needed. 
we also didn't get Thornstick. These are going to be brutal without Thornstick. God, I really don't want to. <laughs> Uh, just sell me Thornstick, and if I have to make one of those custom, I'll do it. If I have to make all of those custom, you, you're you out of your damn mind. One more day, one more day, one more day. Do we have any research that we can do? We do have that one potion we don't know about still. We do have a couple areas on this map that are not technically uncovered. But, like, we still pretty much have this map done. We did get our last talent point over there, okay. Hey, this has to be a potion of hallucinations, right? Because it's like the only thing we don't know about. No, we also don't know about curse. Well, curse sounds like a death effect, so that's probably gonna be, there's probably something like down here in the fire and death quadrant. I don't know, this water map is so big. No, that could be Curse, actually, now that I think about it. But the only other place a potion can be is out here. So, let's see. We could cross this wall with one of these guys. We could. All right, fine. Let's go do it. We haven't explored in a while. Let's go see what's out there. There's only two more potions left to uncover, so we might as well just go and do them. Come over here. Second one of those will do you fine. Here I'm thinking like Lust Mushroom should be great. Don't want to use quite the whole thing, because I just want to go to like here. And then I don't want to go all the way over. Just take me to like... <laughs> okay, take me to like here. And then... yeah. Take me to like here, and then teleport me. To, oh god, it's not great. I kind of want to be down there, actually. Hang on. Um. Hmm. Sure. And then I think I can like goblin shroom to hook around that little corner. Sort of. I could dilute, and then I could Goblin Shroom. No, don't grind it, you fool. What are you doing? <laughs> Hang on, this is going to be a lot of distillation. Because, well, no, it just Void Salt it, man. Like, you got where you wanted to be. There you go. Stir the rest of it up. Now you just, like, go ever so slightly down. That's probably too far down, but let's try it. And now we want to teleport back up. Uh, I think it's workable. We just need to be really fast getting out of that bone wall. Like, this should mostly do it. If it doesn't, we'll just be sad. Come on, there we go. There we go, okay. Now we're in business. I absolutely do not want to find out where that whirlpool goes. I suspect it's just going to hurl me back into the bone wall. This should be fine. And then what? Well, I guess you just kind of go down. Take me to, like, here. Use the stuff that you have a lot of. Like, you have 80 Goblin Shroom. Look for opportunities to use Goblin Shroom. 
Except you can't even go down that way because there's like a giant fire symbol. And that's probably bad in some form or another. Uh, give me a stink mushroom, and now we're just going down. This is going to be like, we've set ourselves up the optimal area to use a mushroom. But not quite. We're a little too close to the flame wall again, I think. So go to like here. And now we can kind of use this a bit. We'll backtrack and we'll find out where these go. I just don't want to do them right now. This is going to be Stink Mushroom. Put a little bit of distance between us and the Bone Zone. And no, it still doesn't work. Well, try Terraria then. Now we finally get to find out what happens when we get into this wall. Yeah, it just pushes you back out. Okay. It's about what I expected. That takes us just a little too close, I think. So use Life Leaf instead. Yeah. And then... Yeah. That's all fine. So this is either going to be Curse or Hallucinations. This is Curse. Okay. We know. We've seen it now. And now we can start to explore where these whirlpools go. So that other potion that's deep in the magic quadrant that's surrounded by whirlpools, that's got to be Hallucinations. Noted. Okay. It doesn't do anything for us. But we do have an ideal mudshroom set up now. And then we have a second ideal mudshroom set up. Yeah, but I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared of that bone wall. Yeah, you should be a lot scared of that bone wall. You're not going to be able to finish this potion. You absolutely cannot finish this potion. Just grab it now. We were maybe a little too fast and loose there. And as a result, we're not going to find out where some of those deep whirlpools go, but eh, they're probably just like experienced magnets anyway. Show me Thornstick. Just from anywhere today, please. Please, any Thornstick at all. I'm begging you. Just a single Thornstick. No, not paper. I, I don't need any. I have so many pages right now. Just go. You need a Potion of Invisibility. Two or five. But it uses three Shadow Shanter. You use a lot of stuff that I like as well. Sure. That one's fine. A potion that protects you from being poisoned? Yeah, probably. No, that's acid protection. Um, maybe I don't have poison protection now that I think about it. Let's go and look at the map and figure out where it would be. We know it's going to be oil. It's probably going to be... what? No, that's fart. We don't want fart. We want poison protection. Is it you? How do we not have that? That's so easy to get. Bizarre. Very bizarre. We've accidentally landed on that effect so many times. That we actually know how to make it already. It's you. And then it's you again, with a small dilution at the end. Right about there. And then it's, you know, anything you want, basically. Like, sure. Chuck a druid's rosemary in there. save this, for the love of God. Uh, 
I gotta reorganize all this. So you are a uh, spray bottle? Spray bottle that's fat at the bottom. What? No, that's not... Wait, you're wrong. You're in the wrong bottle. And you have the wrong label. Oh, it's all wrong. It's you. It's you. You're correct. You're both wrong. Sorry, I don't know why I'm getting so mad at the game. <laughs> I, don't mean, I don't mean to keep yelling at it. I guess I'm just having a, a lot of emotions about my level of play today. So let's see, poison protection. I don't want the da I want the dagger to be like a silver. Yeah, it's like a metal dagger, and then the shield is green. And then acid protection. I don't want the the shield color should be standardized, right? Like, what if the shield is always black? And then what if the Bolt of Lightning was like a lighter purple, so it popped more? Shield is always black. Shield is always black. Shield is black. Shield is black. And then I want to... well, I, I guess I can't, because all the shield effects are the same. I don't know what that is. That's like the anti-magic symbol that I'd want to use. No, that's the anti-magic symbol that I want. Well, no, because they have to be standardized. Okay, so, like, mana's blue. Mana's always blue. I like that blue. Like a teal blue. And then you, I need to change your color, so you're like a lighter. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Okay. Then Acid, Black Shield, Dagger, Black Shield, and now the Dagger can be green again. Because it's a Poison Dagger. Okay. This is good. I like this more. Get all of these extra pages out of here. Get all of them moved. Get it all out of here. Okay. Because you... Like here, here, here. Sorry, we're almost done. I know this is probably not like the most interesting thing to watch, but like the, the level of organization in my book has been killing me for some time. Oh, and this flame should be like red as hell. Maybe like orange as hell. Was it orange originally? I don't remember. So here's all of our resistances now. In, sorted in like a much better and more rational way for easier visibility anyway take your poison potion and go your chin is too small can I make it bigger yeah I can make it like slightly bigger no let's make it a lot bigger come on that's how you make the big bucks wait for someone to ask for a weak potion oh never mind you can't make a strong potion of enlargement just take the weak one and go all right, what you got? Magma Moral? We use a lot. We have been using a lot, and we'll probably continue to use a lot. Kraken Mushroom, we should be fine on. We have 54 currently. We are. Foggy Parasol, we're fine on. Mad Mushroom? I don't think we've touched Mad Mushroom in a very long time. We're fine on it. Goblin Shroom? We've recently enjoyed using a lot of Goblin Shroom, but we have 80 right now. Do we have any potions that we need to offload? Yeah, like, you're probably not gonna pay that much for that thing so those are those are bizarre effects that are all on the same potion sure potion that makes you stronger faster more agile dexterity potion go husband's going into the woodstock game you could use a potion to help him hunt better Invisibility, do you think? Like, if you were invisible, you'd probably be a pretty good hunter. Nope. Wrong. <laughs> if you were, uh... 
If you could see really well, you'd probably be a really good hunter. I love that bottle. Yeah, if you could see really well, you'd be a great hunter. No more than three types of ingredients. Best potion. Lust. Well, unfortunately for you, it has four types of ingredients, so you're going to have to find a way to deal. What? Those are both optional. What? What is relaxation? Because that's what people always say when they come in. They're like, oh, I need a relaxation potion. Wink. Oh, is it because it's not the best potion? So these are not optional. These are mandatory. No, they're not, because he says he'll pay extra. What the hell? What else is relaxation? Well, like, you sleep? Like, you're tired? I'm so confused by this customer. Yeah, I have no idea what you needed. That's always been a potion of libido. But he was just, he wasn't up for it this time. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm dumbfounded. That's always worked in the past, but apparently not this time. Very strange. All right, we gotta see Thornstick today. Come on. Today's the day for Thornstick. Uh, or Fire Citrine? No. Arcane Crystal. That's cheap, so I'll get it. Plague Stib Knight. I don't think we have any, so give me like five. Looks like the kind of thing that might be extremely useful for building a Necromancy Potion. Potion for the enchantment to make someone grow in size no more than three types of ingredients. Needs a thorn stick. How did we do this without teleporting? Or is enlargement not even through a bone mall? It is on... Oh, it's not on the oil map. It's just way out there. Okay. Well, let's see. There's a way to line this up so that we could mag memorial into Lost Room. Although, now that I look at it, Bloodthorn might just be good enough to. Let's take a look. Oh, it's going to take us through oil. Hang on. That might be bad. How bad? Uh, pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. So we could do something like this. And then we just kind of want to go straight, and we want to... Well, we don't really need to hit that whirlpool. Hmm. 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 I think just a fireball is probably good enough here. Okay. And then what? Now what's your, your cunning plan? I didn't really think... Oh, okay, never mind. I found my cunning plan. It's a lava root. So, like, here. And then we want to go up and over and then back down. So what does this movement? Magma Moral kind of does if I can get a little bit of elevation first. So what gives me a little bit of elevation? 
uh, grasping root might. Like unmodified grasping root. And then we make Memorial back down. Yeah, there it is. That's the movement that we were looking for. Now, if we could have gone just a little bit further, then we might have been able to line that up exactly. But instead, we're going to have to use like a stinkweed or something. Yeah. And we're probably going to crush it to give ourselves a little bit of error room because we want to be like there. So pull it back. Hey, Nova. How you doing? I'm pretty good. I uh, accidentally melted my Rubido in my alchemy machine because I forgot to take it out and then I was going to make like an albedo crystal. But there was Rubido in there instead of... No, I was going to make a uh, Negredo, but I forgot that there was Rubido in the compartment. So I just burned a Rubido for a Steam achievement, but beyond that, pretty good. <laughs> Uh, this is unfortunately going to be a little bit of a complicated potion, but you know what? If you knew where it was on the map, you wouldn't be coming in here making these special requests. So, potion that creates store power. That is going to be a mana potion. Take it and leave. Your eyesight has gotten poor. Don't use more than two types of ingredients. You'll pay extra for a potion with multiple effects. I'm just going to give you a potion of true sight and ask you to leave. Please, thank you. Doing stuff around the house? Yeah, that was my yesterday. My yesterday was I got woken up by a fire alarm with a low battery. So I went to replace the battery. And when I looked at the back, which, you know, grant that I probably like should have done when we bought this place, but when I looked at the back, it was a fire alarm that had, or a smoke detector that had been made in like 2003. So replacing the battery turned into buying four new smoke detectors for the house because they were old, 22 years old, and they're only supposed to last like 10 years. But it's one of those things that feels nice when you do it. Your butt hurts. You don't know why. Do I have a cream? Yeah, let's try just like a simple healing potion. Does that do it for you? That does it for you. And then you, I need Thornstick. Yeah, I know. I, it tracks, because that was the last time the house was sold. So, apparently when when she bought it, the person who owned it before us, that was the first thing she did. Should have been the first thing that we did, but we didn't. But now we have. So that's good. Um, yeah, I'll take another 32 of those. They're good. I need those, despite the fact that they're not on sale. I've been using a lot of Whirlweed. I've also been using a lot of Feather Bloom. Also, I don't have much Flame Weed. Oh, and it's on sale. Yeah, I'm just buying all of that. So what else? Terraria? I think we're still over 100. Yeah, we're fine on that. Life Leaf not on sale. Thistle Bloom. We use it. A okay, give me like 10. I'm honestly surprised we didn't have issues with them earlier. But, you know, there you go. Whoops. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. I'm, you, you described that one herb. I definitely meant that other herb. Sorry about that. I know what I'm talking about. I'm, I do plants. I'm a plants guy. Exploding potion or something similar. No more than two types of ingredients. Truly strong. I think we have a potion of exploding that's like one ingredient. No, it's like two ingredients still. Pretty close, though. I mean, the one in the kitchen, like, absolutely works because we've accidentally set it off when we're cooking. Where, like, we'll make something smoky and I'll be like, oh, the smoke alarm's gonna go off, and then it goes off. So I've at least known that, like, they work, but... Yeah, it's definitely one of those things where you don't just want to have old smoke detectors sitting around in your house. So you don't like complex potions. Should not be more than three types, and you want it to be weak. Fortunately, it's only poison. I should have no problem making a weak poison potion. Let's see, if we can get over there in one, that would be beautiful. Oh, Grave Truffle does it. Grave Truffle's expensive, though, and you want it to be weak, so how about this? I'm just going to give you some ground-up mushroom.
It's house stuff, man. House stuff sneaks up on you. Wait, what are you? Your ultimate poison? Okay, whatever. Okay, I thought we had most of it taken care of. I thought we were like, oh, we got the electrical fixed because an outlet was hot when I put my hand on the back of it, and it turns out that all the wires were melted on the back end. We were probably close to an electrical fire there, and also we got the basement taken care of because the basement had some periodic flooding where groundwater was making its way through the walls and the laundry room, and that's not great. We got that taken care of, so it's like, yeah, all the essentials are probably done. But smoke alarm was not done. And there's probably something else that's lurking in the house that's not, you know, totally working appropriately. But if it's missed us living in the house for a year and it missed the home inspection, hopefully it's not something that's catastrophically bad and it's just something that's like a minor inconvenience kind of thing. Yeah, you know, like you don't you don't know until it becomes a problem. So I think we've done our due diligence. I think we've found most of the stuff and you know, fingers crossed that there's nothing truly bad going on. Evil sorcerer can summon acid blobs. Do I have a potion of acid protection? I absolutely do. It's you, and we can somehow make it. So that's great news. You're feeling itchy down there. Do I have anything to relieve it? I have, like, a healing potion. You want to just rub a healing potion on your junk? Sure, okay. Anyway, you can charm a guy? Yeah, I have a charm potion for you. We can make 37 of these? I'll be making the one that I can make 37. Oh, wait, we have... No, wait, that's fragrance. Hang on, let me bring it over. There we go. I'm dying here, like, not having any of my thorn stick. It's all I need to get all of this stuff done. Maybe I should just bite the bullet. What's the one that's truly heinous? I don't immediately know. Probably this one. Potion of big mana bolts. Like, the other three look manageable. Mostly. God, I would, okay, one more day. One more day. Just one more day. One more day. We'll go one more day if we don't have any thorn stick that grows, we don't get a fire citrine. We're going to sit down and rework all of our recipes because we're out of one ingredient. 